The 2019 Formula One season kicks off this weekend in Melbourne, Australia. And before the cars line up on the grid for the first race of the year, we wanted to know who has the best and worst car livery. So to find out, we asked 10 of our journalists, many of whom were able to watch trackside during testing in Barcelona last month, for their opinion. So here's the verdict based on a point system from the worst to the best. In 10th place and receiving the wooden spoon is Williams. It has a new look for 2019 and replacing the iconic martini stripes with its new blue and white rocket color scheme didn't favor with our guys. Our F1 reporter Scott Mitchell says, I don't dislike the colors they've used, but the design is too bland. It could have been made a lot meaner and it says a lot that the driver's race suits and livery of the trucks look better. Moving on to P9 on the grid, we have Racing Point. The former Force India team has had a big rebrand behind the scenes, but the car retains its Pink Panther look for 2019, but with BWT being joined by title sponsor Sport Pesa, it now has a half-and-half -half livery that's pink and blue. Autosport.com editor Matt Beer says, An entirely pink BWT car is absolutely fine, as the last two years of Force India's and a host of junior single-seaters prove. A blue-based Sport Pesa livery would probably be excellent too, a bit mid-90s Williams. But this looks like two liveries having an argument with each other on one car. Harsh words, Matt, but fair. In P8, we have McLaren, which has given its classic orange papaya color scheme a makeover of sorts this year. Despite its lowly position overall, Motorsport.com's resident Russian Oleg Karpov is a fan, saying, I liked it last year already, just because of the papaya orange and being a huge fan of F1 history. I think it was a nice move from McLaren bosses, but I think it was still a bit boring. With a bit more blue, it just looks nicer. I like the way it's combined with fonts and the whole graphic design. Driver suits look cool as well. All in all, it's just fresh. Moving on to P7, we have Renault, a team who finished fourth in the Constructors' Championship last year, but didn't quite score as many points on our poll as they did on track. It retains its predominantly black livery for a second season, but Motorsport.com's global editor-in-chief Charles Bradley is not a fan and wanted a more classic color scheme that harked back to its glory days. He says all those epic canary yellow cars of the 1980s, the lovely sky blues of the 2000s, ignoring the ING atrocity, and it's just black with yellow piping. I thought the French were meant to be good at this. Sacre bleu, Charles. On to P6, we have the rebranded Alfa Romeo Racing, which has replaced the Sauber name from the sport. Despite the renaming, the livery remains pretty similar to last year's, which likely costed points in our poll. However, Autosport's editor-in-chief Andrew Vanderberg loves it. There's something about a proper deep red, scarlet, as Murray Walker would say, that just looks right on an F1 car. By blending it with Sauber's recent traditional clinical white, it creates a look that's both a nod to the past and a statement of future ambition. And it's got a snake on it. To find out who made our top five list and who scored the highest position, stay tuned for our next video. I'm Julia Piquet and thanks for watching.